So today's battle is between the red jungle fowl and the copperhead. So let's get started. Now the red jungle fowl originates from Asia as the, the descendant of all the chickens. He's the ancestor. He's the one who started it all. Yeah. <laughs> So red jungle fowls can be up to around like a foot long when it comes to tail feather to beak and can be it can weigh up to two to three pounds. I mean that's not that much for a rooster, but hey, they're like medium sized roosters. They're like the smallish medium type area. So but let's go to the copperhead. Copperheads live in North America. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, red jungle fowl are from uh, are from Asia, so yeah. So copperheads live in North America. It can, they can be up to two to three feet long. It can weigh up to one or two pounds. Yeah, but anyway. So let's get this fight started. So first Beak versus Fang. No, their main weapons. It's not their main weapon. Talons versus Fang Venomous Fangs. Venomous Fangs takes this. The rooster the the jungle fowl is the talons are pretty effective in battle. But this snake he has longer range. But but longer range, well, when it comes to longer range, he doesn't have any arms or anything, so you have to get in head on to do the long range. And and the rooster can even deflect the attack by kicking it in the face. So yeah. Secondary weapons. There's no really secondary weapons for the copperhead, so the rooster takes this one. No, it's a it's secondary weapon is his beak. So X factors. Copperheads can cut camouflage into the leaves and brown autumn leaves. Well, red jungle fowls can fly. Yes, jungle fowl and chickens can fly for short distances. I once, so my family, they butcher chickens, okay? Because they get some from the farm and like. Yeah, they butcher chickens. One chicken managed to escape the grasp of our fans. In our backyard is it's kind of big, and there's a freaking there's a pine tree grove over there, over there, over where our house lives. Where we, where we live. So apparently, this chicken, this was a special one because he had an es- extra spur on his leg. And his spur is like a claw, extra claw. It's on like the back of his leg. But anyway, he flew away. And from our gazebo to that freaking tree, that was like 50 feet. And this was like a huge chicken. It was like freaking huge. It was like one of those melee roosters. Dude, you're telling me this huge melee... Dude, it was a chicken that looked like a melee rooster, okay? I didn't know what type of chicken it was, but it looked like one to me. I was like 7 or 8 when it happened. Now, I'm not lying. This, this effort... This chicken, okay, so the average, like, thing, the average flight distance for a chicken is 20 feet. This guy, no, he broke the freaking world record. He flew all the way from our gazebo to the freaking pine tree grove. And that's like a 40 to 50 foot walk. You know how crazy that is? I mean, that might be not sure, sure, but like, for real, you know how long that is from the, okay, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, okay, but for real, this is the gazebo, okay? Let's just say the gazebo is here. And then this chicken, he flies all the way over here. And let's just say this is like 30 to 40 feet. How the hell does that happen? A chicken flies over 20 feet just to get to the pine tree grows. And my dad had to get it down with a net. True story. Anyway, let's just get on to the battle, God damn it! I just got sidetracked. I'll tell you the story in the story time later. I'll tell the story again in the story time. But anyway, let's just get into the video or fight. 
So the copperhead sees a nest, a red jungle fowl nest, and decides to eat the eggs. The hen is not there, but the rooster is there. And the rooster of the hen, he comes to protect the flock. It kicks the side, I mean, the copperhead in the head. This makes the head, this the snake jerk its head back and hiss at the red jungle fowl. The red jungle fowl is not freaking afraid, and he will fight to the death. The jungle Jungle Fall flies up and kicks the set, the copper the snake down and keeps pecking and stomping on his head. The snake then tries to deliver a bite, but then gets ki- the t- the talons of the the roosters like look the talons on the rooster it freaking slices the, the snake's head. So the snake's attack wasn't really effective. The rooster dances around the snake, pecking and jumping on it, slashing it with its talons. This is pretty effective until until the copperhead gets a lucky bite and almost bites the rooster, but be- bites off a little of these tail feathers. The rooster is getting a little more cautious and a little bit more tired. So he tries to do one last time and makes a bad decision. He gets close to the freaking copperhead's face and tries to like peck out his brains or something, try to rip open his head with his talons. But that's when the snake attacks and it bites his underbelly. Now it takes a, a while for the poison to take effect. And the uh, constrict and um and the copperhead starts trying to like. Constrict, I guess. I don't really know. But the roost, but the damage is already done. The rooster just backs off. He crows at the giant snake, and the rooster like freaking slashes the at the slashes and pecks open the this copperhead's head skull. This this severely injured copperhead slithers off into the bushes, and the rooster just lays there dying. Well, the hens get back and they see the dead rooster. This time it was a tie, kind of. But in my case, I think the copperhead would win in a fight against the red jungle fowl if a one on one. I'm not biased against chickens because they can be a very formidable opponent. But like, dude, it was it was a pretty intense battle. But like, it was, it's too small to even hurt the 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 snake. I mean, it did inflict serious damage, but like, it was to the snake, man. Like, okay, maybe maybe it was like an old English game rooster, or maybe a melee rooster. Then they would have even. I think they would even. They would have killed the snake. Those type of roosters, they don't. They don't hesitate. They will kill. Try to kill any predators. Dude, they will. They literally kill rattlesnakes. If a snake goes into your hen hen coop, the hens will gang up on the snake and eat it and kill it. Meanwhile, some very aggressive roosters can take down small falcons and hawks. Yeah, but in the end, I think the the copperhead takes this one. I say the copperhead wins around 74% of the time. And who do you think would have won? Comment down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.